Out of the land of Egypt have come many tales of ancient times. During the centuries that have passed, the spinning wheel of the ages has mingled truth with fantasy, until it is hard to say where truth leaves off and fancy begins. Yet, all of these stories might have happened, for they tell of people whose ambitions and hates and loves were no different than our own. We tell the story of a girl, Naila, who was a queen and lived in the royal city of Chemis on the banks of the River Nile. Why is everyone running toward the wine shop? I think they have a new dancing girl. Well, come on, Didi, let's watch her. No, no, no. Such distractions are not good for a man. Especially when he has a wife who's three times his own size. Oh. Didi, how is it that you of all people are not gazing on the lovely female down at the wine shop? I have no more interest in women. They only cause me misery. Didi! Yes, my love? Watch the shop. I'm going to rest for a while. Some desert girl, I suppose. A moment ago, she wasn't here. And suddenly, she was out there dancing. without being recognized. But if it ever becomes known. <laughs> I took your dare and I won. Five pieces of gold you owe me, Harita. <laughs> <laughs> the royal chariot has been sighted. My father returns so soon. Yes, and alone. Alone?
Scarlet, Banner of Harua. And nothing can be done about this escaped slave who murdered my father? Harua is no ordinary slave. He is the leader of a band of escaped slaves, every one of them as desperate as he is. They roam the deserts attacking caravans and slave markets. That's why your father went to meet him, to offer tribute and protect his subjects. Why must we offer tribute to a man like that? What do we have an army for? As well direct the army to attack Moonlight. Harua strikes and is gone. What about our spies? We have sent many. None have returned. I don't understand it. All the power and wealth of Kenis cannot overcome a small band of slaves. But you're very young, Your Majesty. It isn't easy to understand affairs of this sort. Our chance will come. Herua will make one move too daring. Stop them. The noise is disturbing, Her Majesty. No. I will appear before them. the voices of my people. They ask revenge for my father's death. We must listen to them. But your majesty, there's no need to charge yourself with heavy and painful duties. You're young and very beautiful. Continue to seek your pleasures. You've planned a journey to the horse fair in Naharina. Why not go enjoy yourself? You were my father's counselor. So you will be to me. But it is I who will rule. It should be as you say. I will go to the horse fair at Naharina, but not to enjoy myself. To the fair I come nomads and horse dealers from all corners of the land. Wouldn't that be the place to look for Herua and his band? Their very lives depend on the speed and wealth of their horses. Ah, but your majesty, don't underestimate your enemies. As soon as you appear with your entourage, they will make themselves scarce. It is you who underestimate me. I will go alone, not as queen, but as a village traveler. Thus, I may go amongst those men of the desert, unknown to them. I bow to your wisdom. I erred in thinking you a young girl, unskilled in statecraft. the slave dealer. His price will be the money he receives for her. Satna has explained everything? It will be easily done, my lord. The girl has a beauty that will delight the buyers in the slave market. I set you a task. I don't wish to know how you accomplish it.
Release me, or you will regret the evil day you were born. Surrender. Start them moving. We leave. Chain them together. Beautiful of all slave girls. Why, this is a fresh brand. I don't know where this girl came from. And her name. Slave girls have no names, only a price. A price? One hundred pieces of gold. <laughs> I wouldn't pay a hundred pieces of gold for any slave. But this slave will bring much more in the markets where you trade. No, a hundred's too much. Too many of them die on the way. Fifty. Here is no ordinary slave. She is a treasure worthy of a pharaoh's palace. I'll even include her stallion. Truly, this is a fabulous combination. Well worth a hundred pieces of gold. All that it shall be. Now, Kamu, now! <laughs> fast for us.
treasure of our heart, forgive us for parting with you. It is only because we love you, friend Carfer, that we even think of such a trade. You dare offer this half-dead old mongrel for my beautiful beast? Of course not. We offer our noble horse to Hootie for your broken-down stallion, but only if you include your filthy tent. That is the most ridiculous offer I've ever received. Out of my way with this dying goat of yours. <laughs> who is this sand flea who calls me a dying goat? I did. <laughs> did I or did I not hear that animal speak? Certainly you heard me speak. Oh, oh don't mind what he says. He, he's a very foolish horse. A talking horse? A talking man. Oh, but, 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 but this is magic. I, I, I've uh, heard of such things, but I, I never believed them till now. Well, come along, Nepka. Goodbye, Kafra. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I will give you my dumb, stupid horse. I will give you the tent, everything. Only I must own this talking horse. <sighs> then he is yours. Oh. Say something to me, oh, my beloved. Let us leave these cutthroats before they change their minds. <laughs> you throw your voice so well, I'm beginning to believe in talking horses myself. <laughs> <laughs> this beast is no prize, but he's sounder than old Tahuti. Come, let's ready ourselves. What eyes? What muscles? What legs? Hmm. What a beautiful mouth. Nebka, bring water. She lives. Why worry about a woman? Look at this horse. What a cloth for her brow. Fill a cup for her lips. Uh, it's the most beautiful animal I've ever seen. Travelers, on our way to the horse fair at Naharina. I too am journeying there. Take me with you, and you will be greatly rewarded. Rewarded by a slave girl? Let's turn her over to the slavers before we get in trouble. What's when we stopped in a dirty prison cell? Yeah, I know, just for borrowing a few horses. But I had a dream. I was a prince. I, I had food and wine and palaces. And and beautiful slave girls. Yeah, I know. One meets such nice people in one's dreams. Well, dream all you like, but don't risk our lives because you fancy a slave girl. Yes, uh, I guess it would be foolish. Quickly, quickly into the grove. And take the stallion. <laughs> she makes the sound, we die. have no reason to lie.
What did you get? This dagger. What about you? His purse. Where was I? <laughs> On the other side. Oh. I am grateful. Let's leave her here and take the horse. There are races for rich prices at the horse fair. If you will take me, I could ride my stallion and win much gold for you. We don't need her. I can ride the stallion. Steady, <laughs> old boy. Whoa! 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 Steady, old boy. Steady, old boy. Nice, pretty old boy. An unruly horse and a dangerous woman. Only evil can come of this. <laughs> Take me to Naharina with you. I go there to find Herua, the leader of escape slaves. Herua? You'll lose your heads if you get mixed up with him. No. It will be worth your while to protect me. I will win races for you. Your purse will be full. <laughs> you can't spend gold from a gallus. Here is a fine horse and a slave girl to ride him for us. We will disguise her and take her with us. Very well. We were born to hang. We might as well do it together. It is a small risk. So great a prize. <laughs> I'll get the horse. <laughs> There she is. Quiet. Let it not be known. Fifty pieces of gold are the black mare. Who'll bet fifty pieces of gold? Fifty gold pieces done. Well, how much? <clears throat> Here is my wager. Let me see yours. What? Don't you trust me? We're the owners of the golden stallion. Yeah. I trust the horse, not you. I'll wager my gold, but if you lose, I'll take the stallion. Should have drawn my dagger for that insult. <clears throat> I, too, noticed he had the wrist of an expert swordsman. He sure did. Hey, where are you going to get 50 pieces Shh. of gold now? Where? Shh. You must be a magician. I couldn't find one. There's one more. Where is the black mare? around those pylons and finish at the same line. Look at the two in front. These desert horses run like the wind. I didn't come here to watch a race. Look about you. Maybe she came here to search for Hero as she said she would. Hey, what if she... I mean, he keeps on going. We'll lose a race and have no horse to pay the wager. They'll hang us. That's what they'll do. I've seen the Princess Naila ride her stallion too often to be fooled by that. Kamor, I love you. I said I would win. You were wonderful. May I speak to you? Who, me? You own the stallion? 
Well, all of us. Him, him, and me. I'll offer you any three of my horses for your stallion. Three horses? I have never ridden against a better animal. Perhaps you'd be willing to offer money. There's nothing as fascinating as the tinkle of gold pieces. The stallion is not for sale. Come, follow well, me. Well, we can get three horses with the... <laughs> well, three horses with the... We have purchased all the horses that we need. I will join you in a moment. I've seen something here which intrigues me. Seventy pieces of gold. The slave girl is worth more to us than a queen. There will be other races tomorrow. We'll reach your prices for the winner. Then tonight? Let us spend what we have won today, the three of us. I have more important things to do. You mean finding Harua? But how can you when no one knows what he looks like? It is one thing to salute a superior animal. It is another to find that a woman has beaten me. You lost fairly. What more do you ask? Only to feast my eyes upon your slave girl. I have heard there was a girl of your description that escaped recently from the slave Amatet. No, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We're trapped. What is it you wish? I will not betray her. On the contrary, I offer safety. A place in the desert where no slavers could follow. See how close we are to discovery, to torture, to slow execution? Oh, please, Maria. Uh, perhaps you would be willing to offer a few pieces of gold for this girl? How many? Well, I don't know. I'll make a deal with you. If I had no money to purchase food, if I lacked clothing to shield my skin from the sun, still I would not sell her. A hundred pieces of gold? Oh, please, Maria. I'll buy an entire harem. Only let us sell this one dangerous female, please. What can you offer for the feeling of joy when I look at her? What price for the exaltation in my heart when she smiles? When she is near, I am a king. No, not to you, not to her, but to myself. Please, Murat, he offers gold. His words stem from this, this exquisite inspiration. And I understand. Our paths may not cross again, but I will always remember. Would you wish to have gone with him? I am content. Well, I'm frightened. Here. <laughs> this girl's an escaped slave. We didn't know. We bought her in good faith. Taken to the palace of Chemis. She says the Lord Counselor will punish us all. The slave's insolent. According to the law of the land, escaped slaves and criminals who harbor them shall be torn apart by wild horses. Let it be thus. Well, here we are. It was bound to happen. I'm sorry we could not protect you. I had no right to entangle your fortunes with mine. I am to blame. No. No, I demanded it. If there is any blame, it is mine. You two share the blame, and I share the wild horses. <laughs>
Take the fat one first. Oh, well, I'm not proud of it. Gladly go last. Honest, I will. I don't want to go first. Come on. All right, bring him around here. I am tight, Ben. Rest if you can. You will be safe soon. My people will try to make you forget what has happened. I will never forget. Nor will I forget that it was you who saved me. That you are safe is reward enough. close by with our horses. You have arranged for everything. When one guards a treasure, he leaves nothing to chance. What of the others? All safe. We escape with ease. We ride much faster for our lives than they for their pay. What of my friends, Mirab and Nepka? They await you at our village.
Thank God for good. All is well? Yes, we are in good hands. Take this girl, let her be clothed and refreshed, and then bring her to me. I begin to wonder if he saved her for me or himself. If you'd only keep her, I'd breathe freely again. I wish I had words to describe your loveliness. Do not think me ungrateful, but may I ask you a question? Please do. This morning, we were strangers. Yet this afternoon, you risked your life under Rohia men to save me. Why? The sight of you now assures me that I made no mistake. I am a slave girl. There are many such who could be purchased at no risk. You think it's strange that I interfered with your execution. Perhaps you think that one slave owner takes you from another. Such is the custom. There are other reasons too, but they all vanish from my mind and only your beauty remains. I... I cannot look at you without wanting desperately to press my lips to yours. Are you talking to your slave? No, you are talking to your slave. Hear the songs of the desert, but they have never been so beautiful. I do not think I shall mind my bondage. You are not in bondage. No one is a slave here. We all were once. Have you ever heard of Harua? Indeed, I have. 
I am Harua. And I vow to free all slaves, whoever they may be. My men and I are pledged to fight as long as there are those who crush others beneath them. You tremble. Are you frightened because I'm Harua? It is said that you do not hesitate to murder. I was born a slave. It was not meant for men to be born so. Nor were slaves born to be murderers. Yes, I have killed when I had to, so others could live to be free. And this is your stronghold of the slaves? Yes, the slavers and the armies would like to find it. But it is like finding a flea in a herd of camels. And what if they should happen on it by chance? They have so many men. We have poised great dams of stones at the rim of the plateau. A few men could cut the thongs and start them down. The strongest armies are no match for an avalanche. But this is not the night to speak of unpleasant things. I can give no thought to such dreams as are made of moonlight, while slaves die in chains. What would you do? I could be useful, more useful than you realize. Once I live in the palace at Chemis, I was a dancing girl. I could return there. Would it not be helpful for you to know the plan of the slavers' caravans? A spy in the palace of the queen. Oh, it is a chance given to us by the guards. If you could come back to me with that information. They would suspect me if I left the city. Then I could send a man to meet you within the city. Would you send another to enjoy the moments we might spend together? I will come myself at the first night of the next full moon. Then meet me at the shop of Mestet, the wine merchant. When will you leave? At dawn. My two friends will accompany me. One day, perhaps, these evil hours may be ended. And then we can stand together as man and woman. You will not forget this meeting with the slave girl? As well ask me if I will forget my heart. Are you certain we'll be permitted to enter the palace? They had us once. You know what'll happen if they catch us again. I would not bring you here, but I know certain of our safety. strange-looking men. It appears they remember you even at that. Hey, let's go around the back way. There's no use antagonizing them. There will be no trouble. Well, from the moment we found her, that number trouble, trouble, trouble. Don't you think you're going too far? We could be hanged. Yeah. I give thanks to the gods for your safe return, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? I am Naila, Queen of Chemis. I promised you would be rewarded for helping me. And so it shall be. I invite you to remain in the palace. Whatever you ask shall be granted. Hey, pinch me, Marab. I'm dreaming. <laughs> I should have known that you were no ordinary woman. We are grateful, Your Majesty. What of your mission to the desert? The murderer Herua will be in our hands the first night of the next full moon. But, Your Majesty, Herua saved our lives. My father's murder must be avenged. Nothing else matters. I understand.
she suspects nothing. She is still to be treated as queen until I tell you. Deceit, a queen of false allure, a queen who uses her beauty to trap the unwary. Silence. This man murdered your father. You lie! There can only be one verdict, Your Majesty. Death to the murderer. Death as the sun rises. Let it be slow and agonizing. The way of the headsman is sure and swift. Let it be thus. Closely, O oh Queen. It is not I who tremble, but you. I will be dead and past remembrance, but you will never forget as long as you live. Your Majesty, during your absence, many other affairs of state. Nothing more. Not today. in your desires for revenge, Your Majesty. I torture myself more than I torture him. But, my lady, he is the murderer of your father. There is no proof that it was he. Only a banner flying over the royal chariot. A piece of colored cloth. And if he were innocent, would you order him freed so that he might come to you? If I were a slave girl, or the daughter of a merchant, I could go to him. But I am a queen, and he is a rebel. And because I am a queen, I must condemn the one man in my life. These things pass. Another will come to make you forget and bring you new happiness. Perhaps someone close to you. 
so close that, that you do not see him. There will be no other. Why couldn't this have happened to me 20 years ago? <laughs> future in picking pockets. Have a sweet meat, relax, and enjoy the surroundings. We might wake up at any moment. Send the girls away. <laughs> you know my secret hopes. You have no secrets from me. You love a queen. And on which side would you wager? We have never lied to one another about our wagers, have we? No. I wouldn't bet a moth-eaten donkey on your chances. But if such things can happen as a slave girl becoming a queen, then, then why not a pickpocket marrying one? I've heard of such weddings from the old storytellers. But it always seems the pickpocket turns out to be a prince in disguise. Is that necessary? I'm afraid you'll find it so. Haven't you ever noticed the look in her eyes as she gazes upon Harua? She hates him. He was the murderer of her father. Well, then that's one obstacle out of your way. You should rejoice. The queen must be pleased to have him executed. Yet her tears were not of joy. I have seen it. Her heart breaks for Harua. I tell myself that it will pass, but... Nepka, I have made up my mind. Have two horses waiting at the gates. Oh, must we flee again from such magnificence? That, my friend, is the way of fate. Oh. I've come to repair the block. Must be ready by dawn. It has seen much use lately. One might almost wish to be in this fellow's shoes. After tomorrow, he will have no taxes to pay, no toil, no hag of a wife to plague him. Aye. One tiny chop and he's through. Uh, I'll help you. Oh, a thousand pardons, by my leg. Do you need any help? No, I'll call you when I'm finished. I'm wearing. When they find you've taken my place, they'll tear you apart. By that time, you'll be safe in the desert. Yeah. No, as sweet as life may seem at this moment, it is not so sweet that I can accept such a sacrifice. Sacrifice? Fifty thieves are waiting outside to storm the jail the minute I give the signal. Here, take my cloak. <clears throat> you'll find Nepka waiting at the gate with horses.
you're the last Mr. He'll ever have. This isn't Hedowa. Aye. But the corridor has been guarded all night. The prisoner couldn't possibly have escaped. Where is Hedowa? My lord, I must have been a victim of black magic. Last night I fell asleep in the in the back room of the harem on a strange carpet. Now, now I know it must have been a, a magic flying carpet, for, for when I woke up, I was no longer in the place where I went to sleep, but here in this cell. You can see I know nothing whatsoever of this Haru of whom you speak. Permit me to depart in peace. Release him. I said, release him. You see, Your Majesty, they are not your guards, but my soldiers. It isn't you who gives the orders. The masquerade is over. You speak treason. I rule the city of Chemis now. The only treason is to defy me. Why? Seize her. Put her in the other cell. Surround the palace grounds. Search every house. Find Herua. I'm sorry my adventure ended so poorly, Your Majesty. You helped Heru escape, did you not? It was not in my heart to do nothing while you yearned for his safety. It was a noble thing you did. I could ask for no better company. If we are to die, horror death shall die with us. I have stolen his dagger. When he enters the cell again, of course I, uh, I appropriated his purse. I wonder what he carried. <laughs> Will be a good thing to meet the headsman wearing Horodef's own ring. Merat, that ring. Do you know what it means? Only that it is very beautiful. It is the seal of Chemis, the circle of entwined serpents. What then, Your Majesty? My father was wearing it when he went out to meet Herua. When he returned, it was missing from his finger. Then Horodef is a murderer. Of course. He planned to move his arm into the city of Chemis from the beginning. Only he knew of my mission into the desert. Only he could have sent the slavers to capture me. Then Haru is innocent. Yes. And the hours I spent with him, I can remember now with pride. Merah, I am grateful to you. Then I am happy. I should have known that the distance between us was too great. A thief may reach for a star, but, but he cannot touch it. This I promise you, we will learn the location of the slave's stronghold. You want protection for your caravans against the raids of Herua? You'll have it once and for all. You want slaves? When we smash his stronghold, you shall have your fill. It's agreed. We'll support your rule. We have searched the entire city. Arua has escaped. The fool Marab can be a more valuable prisoner than Herua. Torture might not move the lips of the slave leader, 
But it will be another matter with the thief. Ah. Put him to the rack. find her who are. No. No, do not tell. My patience is endless. Another turn. the mountain pass. It is far away and difficult to find. But you can find it. On one condition, that you set Merab free. We have nothing to fear from him. Order him freed. You will ride with us? Yes. Perhaps it is the will of the gods that I destroy the murderer of my father. Assemble my soldiers. I promised to lead Horadef and his troops against your stronghold in order to save my worthless skin. And I'm but a little time ahead of the column. Sound the alarm.
This is the only entrance? Yes, up this trail. At the top is a plateau. On it, the stronghold of the slaves. It's a dangerous route. Heroa certainly will have prepared defenses against just such an attack. No, his only defense is the hidden location of the village. I will lead you. There they come. very head. But she would die so that Horadef may be destroyed. And so that you may live. in the rocks down now, she will also be killed. We will wait until she passes the next turn, then she'll be out of danger. She risked her life to save mine. I gambled time to save hers. Ow. Slaves and then we 
we throw the bars around us now we're men and have the stars around us always proud and free we leave in them yes all that luxury and we have to run away from it we would not sleep easily in a palace not after the queen has wed another huh? You thieves are allowed such moments of loveliness as I have had. Well, we can always tell the tale around the desert campfire. Well, how two pickpockets once owned a queen? That's the way.